This film discusses key input considerations for IBM OCR equipment. She's a very attractive young lady, but why in the world are we watching her? Because that young lady belongs in the film we're planning. She successfully entered the world of optical character recognition. What do you mean? She was typing an optically readable document. Oh, we can't waste time on pictures of pretty girls, let's face it. Why not? We've got a problem-solving situation here. This is a meeting. The little problem that has been thrown at us is, well, you and I know that optical scanning machines can't read as well as humans. But that famous growing mountain of paperwork is real, and it takes machines to cope with it. Now, machines can do a good job, but they need help. So our movie must show executives that extra effort is required to implement an optical system. Not just that. It has to stimulate these men who know far more about the hard facts of their business than we do to take action. I mean, executives have to take action to make sure that documents, printing devices, and people meet the standards that OCR requires. So we're trying to plan a small motion picture that will do that big job. Wish us luck. Look, we've got to paint the backdrop first. Here comes a scene to start with. This 19th century information handling device. Great, because if a character wasn't clear, he could snap his arm garters and think. Reason about what that character should be and generally come up with the answer. But slow. And then the key punch operator took over the job of translating good, bad, or indifferent characters. But that is not good enough today. Today, the executive needs action information. Computers are hungry. He needs more input, and he needs it faster. Source document, zap, right into the computer. Well, now, wait, Chris. Our audience doesn't need a history lesson. And he doesn't have to be told that computers are hungry. What he needs to know is how to make that source document you've got zapping right into the computer system work. And to be reminded that he has to give it extra attention if he wants the tremendous benefits. Now, I suggest that we show him how an existing form is transformed into an optically readable document. These scenes show some of the key steps. To me, they emphasize the point that extra care is required to create and produce forms with the built-in excellence optical input requires. The customer's form is redesigned, and he, of course, has some ideas about this that we respect. Registration marks are positioned with high accuracy. Plate making is skill, art, and science combined. What these scenes say to me is, let a precision printer produce your OCR forms. That's what we've got to put across. Plus the idea that it takes time to develop good source documents. At IBM's Document and Print Analysis Laboratory, excellence is assured by analysis of every factor that could affect optical input. If the background color is too dark, the document will be rejected. So we measure the background color and make sure it won't be rejected. Samples produced by the customer's own high-speed printer are analyzed in detail. Dimensions, character density, handling characteristics, and other factors are measured. We find if and why a document is optically acceptable or unacceptable before optical reading equipment is delivered. 
overused ribbons produce fragmented characters and rejected documents. So we test ribbons on a continuing basis. For optimum performance, ribbons must be changed on a usage basis. Can this cash register tape be successfully used as input? Do the registers that prepared the tapes have standard OCR fonts or are they non-standard? Are the characters clear or smeared? Samples of customer tapes are examined and tested and the customer is informed of steps that must be taken to get ready for optical data entry. The three input ingredients of optical credit systems are credit plates, forms, and imprinting devices. We test and evaluate all three to assure excellence. The purpose of all the work done here is to assure excellence of OCR input. We've got our story down, Pat. We haven't got any problems. Look, look, that way to look Chris. L let's take another approach and show some people who have successfully entered the world of optical character recognition. This isn't a tomorrow world. It's here today. That's well, a good point, Herb. I know. OCR requires a high standard of performance by people as well as documents. We get it. Letting our people know when they've done a good job helps. Our meter readers prepare optical input out on the job. This turnaround bill virtually eliminates input effort. It's read back into the computer optically. Right here in my one-man shop, I type out forms the government reads directly into a computer. Piecework accounting was always a problem until optics made it simple for machines to read tickets directly. Direct computer entry of hand-printed information requires motivation, training, and guidance for those who do the printing. You are looking at my input section. Direct optical entry allows us to take our workload to housewives who enjoy working in the freedom of their homes. Well, I'll admit the pretty girl belongs in the picture. But I still think we should show that the businessman has a lot going for him. Our salesmen are ready to help him implement his program. He'll get programming system support to make the transition to optical input straightforward, and he'll get back up in depth. For instance, his machine operators will be taught fine-tuning techniques. Back up in depth. As a matter of fact, we'll well, wait. successfully tie that This meeting will go on for uh, who knows how long. You've seen and heard only a few of the reasons why at IBM we are confident that the faster capture of source data at lower cost is here, right now.